Okay, everyone, parents and students at home, good morning and welcome to IPK Center 1 Elementary School's English and Mandarin Introductory Session. But before we get to our session for today, let us first thank God for the opportunity that He has given us so that we can all join the session together. So everyone, before we start, let us pray and I will lead you in the prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord, for the opportunity that you have given us so that we are now here. We can start our session today so that we can learn a lot more about Ipeka Center 1 Elementary School's English and Mandarin lessons here, Lord. Now, Lord, please bless us and please facilitate us so that we can follow this uh, session all the way from the beginning to the end smoothly. Thank you so much, Lord. We would like to surrender all of other things that we have here in the sessions into your hands. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, everyone. Once again, welcome to Ipeka Center 1 Elementary School's English and Mandarin introductory session. But before we go to our topic for today, let me introduce one of our students who is also our co-host here. So please welcome Felix! Hello everyone, my name is Felix. I'm a student of Ipeka Center 1 Elementary School from Class 5C. I have been an Ipeka student since I was a kindergartner. Today, I want to share with you, my friends, my experience studying at Ipeka Center 1. Now, I will start by sharing my experience first. When I was in first grade, Ipeka Center 1 started being bilingual. We used not only major language, but also English and Mandarin. The lessons I had were fun and exciting. I really enjoyed studying this. For example, the English lesson were not just studying about grammar, but also speaking, listening, and many more. We did a lot of fun activities. One of them was doing a presentation. We did other things such as singing, spelling bee, and interactive discussion. These are not just done with the teacher, but also with friends. Oh, almost forgot. Before we continue, I want to introduce my English teacher, Miss Riley, Miss Krisma, Mr. Stanley, Miss Lintar. And Mr. Kim. And today, I'm here with Mr. Timmy. Yay! Hello, everyone. I am Mr. Timmy, and I am a grade 6 teacher at Ipeka Center 1 Elementary School. Mr. Timmy, can you tell us ab about the English lesson here at Ipeka Center 1? Of course, Felix. So the first one that I would like to mention about the English lessons here is the media that we use. What is it, Mr. Timmy? Well, I can tell you that the media that we use is a set of textbooks. And the textbooks are from National Geography. I mean, it's, it's National Geography. Like, how cool is that, everyone? And since everything, like the textbooks and the materials authentically are from National Geography, we learn not only about English, but also many other things from around the world. For example, in grade 6, my students have been learning about exciting sports, like an, about history and ancient discoveries, and the third one, one of the most beloved foods around the world, chocolate. Wow, that sounds super fun, mister! It really is! So, Felix, you can also learn about that next year when you're in grade 6 too. I can't wait! But... What about the other group? Like, first, second, and so on! Ah, uh, good question, Felix! So, I'm pretty sure everyone at home right now, the parents and students at home, would love to know about all those grades too. So why don't we meet our great one English teacher here, Miss Rai? Ah, uh, okay. I'll give this time to you. Okay, Felix. Bye-bye. I will 
join with us again later, okay? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Timmy and everyone. Nice to meet you all. Thank you so much, Miss Rai, for joining us today. Could you please share with us a little bit about the lesson for English in Grade One? Yes, of course. Let me introduce myself first. I'm Miss Rai. I teach English in Grade One. So in Grade One, we did many fun activities such as speaking, reading, listening, writing, spelling, <coughs> singing, and games. about many interesting topics around the world such as classroom, family, and nature, and many more. Now I have a video about spelling and storytelling activities. The topic is nature. So let me explain about these activities. In spelling and storytelling, students will be more careful when they use words in speaking and writing. Not only that, but students will also learn to always be thankful to God and take care of nature. Now, I want to show you the video about these activities. Let's watch them together. Hello everyone, I'm Miss Rai. I'm a first grade English teacher. I want to show you some activities in English lesson. Let's check them out. So in your offline learning today, you will practice to spell some words through a game. The game is pictures guessing. Okay, and the last, don't forget to say thank you to your parents and people who help you. Okay, are you ready to play pictures guessing game in offline? Yes? Yes. James, are you ready to play the pictures guessing game? Yes. Yes, yes okay. Others, ready? Okay, show your thumbs to the camera please if you're ready. Okay, excellent. Uh, you will play it in the offline learning. Now let's pray. That's all for today. Good morning everyone, how are you? I am fine. I hope you are fine too. Today I will show you my offline learning activity. Enjoy! told us to practice spelling the words. Let's do it. Mommy, can you help me? Sure. Let's do it. What is it, James? It's a tree. T-R-E-E. -E. The tree is tree. The tree is green, Mommy. Good job. What is it? I know, I know. It's a sun. S U N. Sun. The sun is in the sky, mommy. Great. Now, what is it? Is it? It's white. Excellent. What is it, James? Hmm. It's a bush. B U S H. Bush. The bush is green, mommy. Excellent. What is it, mommy? It's flying in the sky. like the butterfly. Good job! Can you tell me what number two is? It's a cloud, mommy. It's the cloud. C -L -O -U -D. Where is the cloud? In the sky. It's in the sky. Well done. How about uh, number three? 
Did you know, Mommy, the sun is very big in the circle and there are range. It is orange. Very good. Can you can you spell the sun for me, please? S U N. S U N. Very good. Well done. I really like this game, Mommy. Um, I want more words, please, Mommy. You want more words? Yes. Fine. Number four, please. It's a tree, Mommy. T R E E. They're big. Very good. Very good, Emily. Now, where do you think the flowers are? They're on the bush. Hello, I am Sharon from 1C. I want to tell you a story about a bush. Enjoy! The bush is green. It looks like a circle. It is in my garden. The flowers are on the bush. The there are pink, purple, and white. They are so beautiful. I water the bush and the flower every morning before I study with my teacher and friend in Google Meet. God create the bush and the flower. I have to take care of them because God wants us to take care of, of the nature. Thank you for listening to my story. God bless you. Oh, what fun! They did the offline learning activities very well. Well done, kids! They are also very enthusiastic at learning English, Miss Rai. <coughs> now, do you perhaps have some words of encouragement for our parents and students and everyone who is currently watching? Sure. <coughs> so, in grade one, there will be more fun activities with interesting topics awaiting you all in English lesson. Not only that, students will also learn about God's love. It will be integrated in topics that we learn. So, I invite you all to study English together with us. Let's join us at IPK Center 1 Elementary School. That will be fun. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you so much, Miss Rai. God bless you too. Hello, Miss Prisma. Here you are. Okay, hello, Mr. Timmy. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Miss Krisma. I will explain you about English lesson activities in grade 3 because English is fun, isn't it? In grade 3, we learn about things around the world like daily activities, food, places and transportation, and many more. Now, I will show you the videos from students of grade 3. Let's start, Mr. Timmy. Let's start, indeed. Please bless. 
lives. I also learned about daily activities and the value of how to take care of people and animals. After this, I will do my tasks in offline class. Thank you for following me until the end of the class. Goodbye friends. Have a nice day and God bless you. How are you? My name is Ace. I'm from Class 3P. E. I'm going to tell you fun activities from my English class. What are they? First, we have songs and games. We not only listen to our teacher, but we also have songs and games. Second, we have quizzes. Yes, I love quizzes. Our teacher gives us quizzes to review our lessons. Third, we have to speak English in our classroom. I remember my teacher always speaks English in our classroom. But don't worry, if you don't know some of the words, you can ask our teacher. So, here we learn together. Learning English in Ipeka is very fun. Come join us. Thank you. That was awesome, Miss Christmas. Like, again, just like Miss Ray's students, uh, your students are also so young, yet they are also very enthusiastic at learning about daily activities and telling everyone about what they like to do, for example. So, Miss Christmas, do you perhaps have some other words of encouragement too for the parents and the students who are also at home? Sure. Okay, Mr. Timmy, so that's all the videos about learning English in grade 3. In talking routines, we not only talk about activities that we do every day, but we also learn about how to be disciplined and appreciate the time that Jesus has given for us. So, I will invite you to come and join us in Ipeka Sunderwan Elementary School. Thank you and God bless you! Thank you very much, Miss Chrisma, for joining us and sharing with us uh, the activities in grade 3. Now everyone, as we can see from the videos that we've watched so far, that every learning activities are now being done at home. That is because right now we are experiencing the COVID-19 pandemic, unfortunately. However, that does not stop us and our students from having fun and interactive learning sessions in our English lessons. Now we are going to take a look at a teacher here and, the, and his lessons who have been very interactive with the students. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, he still can pull amazing things off with his students. So without further ado, let us invite our beloved English teacher here for grade 4, Mr. Stanley. Yeah, hello, Sir Timmy. Hello, everyone. Yeah, it's a pleasure. 
that I can join here with everyone here. I'd like to introduce myself first. Yeah, my students call me Mr. Stanley. Okay, and I teach grade four. Okay, as Mr. Timmy has mentioned before about the textbook that we have used at IPK, our world share is from NetGeo. There are many interesting topics that we have learned here in grade four. We're not just learning about English structure, but we also learn about the global issues. Okay, last week we did our lesson about paragraphs of opinions. At that time, students were asking to choose a topic and gave their opinions about it along with the facts that supported their opinions. It's a really interesting lesson and we decided to turn the class into a talk show. There were various topics that they have covered. Some of them, some of them have the same topics, but their opinions are different to each other. That means they are able to understand the topics and communicate them fluently in English. Okay, I will not speak any longer, Sir Timmy. I will present you a video where I had a talk show with Grace, one of the best students here that we got. She was giving her opinions about the pandemic and the effect. Hi, good morning, Grace. Good morning, Sir Stanley. Thank you for having me here, sir. Yeah, it's nice to have you here. Grace, today we are going yeah, to talk about the pandemic and its effect to our learning yeah? i want to know about what you think about it okay okay sir okay now first question what do you know about covid 19. i know that it is extremely dangerous and god sent this virus to help humans in the world i also know that doctors and nurses are helping everybody and everyone has to adapt to a new situation. Like a chameleon that adapts to different trees. We all now adapt on how to study from home. But one thing I know is the COVID-19 pandemic will pass if everyone stays at home and stays healthy. Okay, Grace. Now, as a student, do you feel worried about the pandemic? I am very worried about the pandemic. I worry about my friends, family, and teachers. Everything about the pandemic is scary, but I pray every day that everyone is going to be safe. So at least I can be assured that God will protect them. Sometimes I worry I won't be able to go to school and study like usual. But that is fine. I know safety is the utmost priority. Yeah, good. Okay, now you said earlier that you were afraid that you couldn't go to school or you cannot you couldn't study as it used to be. What do you think about Ipeka's home learning place? I honestly quite like it. The only thing I don't like is I can't see my teachers and friends. But other than that, I found the application and the tasks and homework helps me a lot when I study. I can manage my time on my own and I don't need my mom's help like I used to do that much anymore. My mom says I'm becoming more independent. My teachers also help me a lot. They said we can ask them anything you want, even after classes. So, I'm very grateful for that. To be honest, I don't find that big of a difference between online class and a personal class. It's nice to hear that, Grace. Okay, Grace, now I, I want to ask you about one thing yeah, here. What do you think about uh, Ipeka's English program here, Grace? I feel like it's encouraging me to harness my talents. Now, I can feel comfortable being bilingual. I can use Indonesia and English both on a daily basis. I can practice talking in English with my brother, parents, cousins, and friends. They really like it too when I speak English. I also can watch movies without subtitles. And I don't have to limit myself to only reading stories that are in Bahasa. I started watching BBC News recently because I'm starting to be interested in the world right now or what the reporters call global affairs. This is all thanks to the education that Ipeka gave me. I was scared at first, but not anymore, since the way the teachers teach us is really easy and understandable. I am glad I studied both languages. Okay, thank you, Grace. That was great, yeah? I'm glad that you can share lots of your opinion with us here. Thank you, Grace. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, see you in the next event, Grace. With my pleasure, sir. Yeah, have a nice day. Jesus bless you, Grace. Bye, sir. Bye. Okay, Mr. Stanley, that was another mind-blowing performance from you students, too. Like, again, 
without uh, going to school, even with the online learning, your students can still learn many things, not just about English, but also about the issues from around the world. That is very interesting, Mr. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sophie. So, everyone, we have seen so far that the English lessons that we have, not only did they focus on knowledge, skills, and values, we also have the values that are integrated, like life values, into our lessons here. We would like to meet another one of our teachers here, the teacher of grade 5 English students, and she and her students have been learning lots of values throughout the English lessons. Without further ado, why don't we welcome Miss Lintar! Hello! Hello, Mr. Timmy! Hello, Hello Miss. everyone! My name is Lintar, Margareta Lintar, and then I should call me Miss Lintar. Nice to meet you! Nice to meet you too! How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I'm great! Nice! Okay, so for today, I have two videos. Oh, that's what? <laughs> yes! I have two videos for my students in grade 5. Wow. Do you want to see it? Of course, I really want to see it and I'm pretty sure everyone at home right now is also curious. Yeah. So why don't we check it out together? Yes, let's check it out! Hello, I'm Kiara. I'm Ipeka's 25th grade student. I learned English with Miss Winter. This week, I've been learning a musical instrument. I've played one musical instrument, which is the piano. Let me play you the music. and I am learning about all kinds of music. I will play my guitar for my performance. It is called Laffy and Rose. Okay, I'm gonna play it now. That was another awesome performance. That's our student in Ipeka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as you can see from the two videos, the values we learn can be related to the Bible verses, which is from Psalms 71 verse 23. That says, My lips will shout for joy when I sing praise to you. So, while we learn English, we are also praising and glorifying God. That's right. We know that this is God's blessing, so that we can learn English through singing and playing music. 
Through this, we also grow to be a confident and hardworking person. We also learn to be grateful for our teachers who are helping us even during this pandemic or challenging time. And additionally, we teachers are always ready to help our students. We always are. Yeah. So, um, I'm curious about the character building, Mr. Pini. Can you tell me about that? Yes, of course, Miss Lintar. And I'm pretty sure everyone at home also wonders about the character building that we have. Like, we're going to take an, uh, two examples, actually. One is about the characteristics of being uh -huh. a lifelong learner. And the second one is about confidence. Okay, so when... you can mention one by one then? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. So let's discuss a little bit about being lifelong learners. We know that English is a language. And just like any other language around this world, it keeps evolving. It never stops. And when we learn English, for example, we also learn new words, like day by day, new words keep appearing, uh -huh. new things to express ourselves also yeah. keep appearing. And then, internally, our students also become lifelong learners, because as they learn this language, they also keep learning newer and newer things. Okay. They never stop. That's right. And the second one, Ms. Okay. are about confidence. We see here in the videos, the students do many activities that involve them performing something, be it speaking or other things. As they progress through the lessons, they not only become lifelong learners, okay. but they also build their confidence. Wow. Yeah, so as they do more and more activities, they become increasingly more confident. Like, how cool is that? Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, and that's what character building and that is also how it is integrated in our English lessons, everyone. Oh, okay, I think so. Now, what else can you tell us about the English lessons in Um, Let's see. Well, we do know for a fact that here at Ipeka Center 1, we have six periods of English every week. Really? Seriously? Yep. Six periods? I'm serious. That's a lot. Indeed, that is a lot, but then again, when we learn language, the more practice that we can have, the better it will be, right? Yes. Now, I'm curious how does the parents work? I mean, you know, these challenging times, the pandemic. I see. Such question is understandable because we are going through a challenging time here. And these six periods are then divided into two parts. So three periods, four online sessions, the other three periods are for the offline sessions. Oh. So we have both online and offline. Now, Mr. Timmy, uh, what do they mean? Well, the online sessions, we will have the students meet the teachers so that we can all learn together, either through lectures or discussions, just like what Mr. Stanley had done earlier, okay. or perhaps other things like listening to music or reading and many more. And then, in the offline session, they will proceed with their learning at their own pace. So, for example, they can proceed with learning the materials, reviewing, they can also do assignments, and then that does not mean that they are completely disconnected from the teachers. That would be uh, not good. <laughs> Instead, they can contact the teacher whenever they need an assistant. Okay. The yeah. teachers are available, yeah? Definitely, we are always available, so they can feel free to contact us whenever they have questions. And okay, and then what platforms that do we use? Oh, the platform, that's a good question, Miss. The platform that we use is actually Google. There are two reasons why we chose Google. First, that is because Google is one of the most easily accessible platforms around the world. Okay. Including our students too. Yeah. And then the second thing is that because there are many, there's a lot of features on Google, like for example, Google Drive, Google Classroom that we use every day, we have Google Meet for our online meetings, oh, yeah. and many other features that the students can also use of. Okay. Not only that, these features are also connected to each other. Okay. That makes managing the learning process the assignments and everything very very easy. easy okay so i think 
So our English lessons are indeed very unique. Indeed, they really oh, are. Yeah. So how about if everyone here who is watching us, yeah, wants to know about Imperka? Ah, we definitely have it. Like we definitely have our hotline number. If you have any question, feel free to contact that offline or hotline number down there below. Yeah, okay. we can see the contact number down here, yeah, down below. Okay. So, but yes, Satini, I still hope that there will be offline learning station soon, yeah? Yes. I really miss my students. I mean, I want to see them directly, you know? Yes, I have the same feeling, Miss Lintar. Like, it's been so long since we've seen each other face to face yeah, directly. Exactly. We also really miss meeting our students, and then we miss also learning together directly at yes, school. Yes, that's right. Wait, Beth, what about your activity? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. here, um, what activities have you been doing in, uh, with sixth grade? Students? Well, let's see. In grade six, uh, our my students and I we've been doing lots of various activities uh -huh. like reading, writing, and so on. Oh, good. How is the preparation for that? I mean, you know, the sixth grade students they are preparing for the middle school, right? Yeah, they definitely are preparing for that. And to prepare them for that, we facilitate them with many activities focused on skills and knowledge. Okay. And these two, for example, we can say perhaps reading comprehensions. They read, and then it's not just answering questions after they read. Oh, okay. That's the traditional one. Yes, we still do that from time to time, but that is definitely not one, but the only way that we have. Okay. What we've been doing is really interesting. Like after we read, for example, a biographical paragraph, we also retell the summary of that biographical paragraph. So students are free to choose, for example, which athlete's biography they want to present, and then they make a video of them retelling the biography. Okay. I'm pretty sure that Miss Lintar and everyone at home here, the parents and students, would love to know one of the examples of the performance. Like, of what we saw. Of course, like? yeah. So Can without further ado, yes. Let us watch the video together. Let's go. What the picture like? Mm -hmm. What is their opinions? And then they also wonder like, what thinking can they? What can they think about the picture? Like, what questions can they raise? Okay. Uh, I think we forgot that we would like to watch the video, <laughs> didn't we? Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> so. Because I saw your picture. Yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah. We got distracted, but that's a good example. Still. Yeah. So now. Why okay. don't we watch the video together? Good morning, Mr. TV! Now, I would like to tell you a biography story about one incredibly brave athlete who loves being outdoors. Her name is Bethany Hamilton. Super cool surfer Bethany Hamilton was born in Hawaii in 1990. She was already an extremely skillful surfer at the age of 8. But then, in 2003, she had an accident. The accident happened when she was just 13 years old. A shark attacked her and she lost her left arm. Just one month after her injury, she was back in the water. Since then, she has learned to surf with one arm. She needs more strength in her legs than other surfers because she only has one arm. At the time, life has never been the same again for her, but she has survived amazingly. Afterward, she resumed surfing with one arm magnificently. She won a national competition in 2004. The next year, she won another national competition. Bethany has written a book about her accident. The book became a movie in 2011. Since then, she has become a champion surfer and inspirational public figure. That's all my story about Bethany Hamilton. Thank you for listening. I hope my story can provide you useful information. God bless you. Okay, everyone. As we just saw in the video, uh -huh. when we do like a reading activity, yeah. we're not just, again, limited to just answering questions. Okay. We can also retell the biography, for example. And now, we have just finished checking out the English activities at 
IPK Super yeah. Elementary School. Yeah, that's right. Now, so from the videos and what you told for mm. everyone now, I just see, I got the point. Yep. Thank you, Sophie. You're welcome. <laughs> However, uh, aren't we missing someone? <gasps> I think so. Yeah. Oh, I think that's Felix, right? Felix, yeah. Where's Felix? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay, so Mr. Pinny and Felix, bye-bye! Bye-bye, Miss Lintar! I'll see you later! Okay, so Felix, what do you think of our English lessons here of Happy Pekka? They were really exciting! Yes, sir. Don't just learn English, right? Oh, that's right! Yes, sir. Don't just learn English, right? Oh, good point, yes! So without further ado, everyone, let us invite our Mandarin teacher, Rachel Jessica! Even half. Thank you, Mr. Timmy. Thank you, Felix. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome.您好老师。沙发桌，我们这边也有朋友们和爸爸妈妈。来，打个招呼吧。大家好，谢谢沙发桌。哇，沙发桌，我们好久不见了。沙发桌在家里做什么呢？我跟我的妹妹玩。哇
哇，老师好想念你们哦，萨法多尔。虽然现在我们不能见面，但是呢，我们要感谢主耶稣，我们身体健康，我们还有机会在家里上课，都是因为保护我的是耶和华。来，我们一起看大家唱歌的 video 吧。
们对主耶稣一直保护我们。虽然现在我们不能去学校，但是我们感谢上帝，我们还有机会能够在家里上课。小花宝，来，我们告诉大家我们的学校吧。我们的学校是伊贝卡。对，谢谢 Salvador。那好的 ，Sir Timmy、Felix 老师和 Salvador 先走了，我们要告诉大家，伊贝卡学校， yeah. 再见，再见。That was awesome. I'm so happy to be a Ipeka Super One student. So, Felix, what do you think of our Mandarin lesson? What do you think? They were really excited. Hmm, I see. So, are you happy to be an Ipeka student? Yes, I'm happy to be an Ipeka student. Yes, I'm happy to hear that. And we teachers are also very happy to teach you and your friends too. So, everyone, what are you waiting for? Let's come and join us here at Ipeka Center One. And everyone else here and to tell our viewers at home, if you have any questions or you would like to contact us, please feel free to contact us using the hotline number below. And now, thank you so much, Felix, for joining us here. It's been so nice to have you here, Felix. You're welcome, Mister. Bye, everyone. God bless you all. Bye. -bye. Bye bye, bye everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.